The remaining members of the Public Account Committee members are planning to release a brief report on its investigations into the One Malaysia Development Berhad, 1MDB. Under public pressure, we, the PAC, may have to come up with a brief report of how far the PAC has proceeded with the M1 MDB inquiry before the proceedings are suspended for nearly three months. In some countries such as US and UK, an inquiry as important as 1 MDB is open to the public and broadcast nationwide. The world is aware. Hitherto, Malaysia does not have such a practice. Yang Ahmad Bahama Najib says that the government has a program to reduce the 1 MDB debt within six months. It waits for the Attorney General's final report on 1 MDB. As the government has such a program, it is appropriate for the PAC to carry on to continue with its inquiry on 1 MDB without interruptions. <coughs> All concerned should assist. The social media have various versions of the story of 1MDB. The public yearn for the truth. Hence, we are here today telling the people that um, we are ready to continue with our work. We may have to let the people know how far we have gone with the inquiry. The other PAC members present were Selayang MP William Leong, Petaling Jaya Utara MP Tony Puan and Tumpat MP Datuk Kamarudin Jaffa. Dr Tan insisted that the PAC could still function as it has sufficient quorum under Standing Order 77 Subsection 2 to do so. While acknowledging Speaker Tan Sri Pandika Amin Mulia's power to freeze the inquiry, he has no power to stop them from functioning. Pandika on Friday said the PAC cannot hold proceedings until a new chairman has been appointed. It is very clear. It's very clearly stated in the standing order. Even, 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 even if tomorrow Wabi is made a full minister, the meeting can still proceed as long as there are a minimum of six people and the members elect among the six who to We will all become chairman until we are this cabinet minister. <laughs> PAC member had on Monday received an official notification stating that meetings scheduled for August 4 to 6, August 17 and August 18 were postponed. Dr Tan, however, says the committee intends to go ahead with its works and keep the public informed of its inquiry. We are considering, we are considering a very, very brief report of what PAC has done. Because the public wants to know you go back to your considering day, so what's happening? Huh? What have you done so far? Hmm? Now that is suspended, what are you going to do? So we may have to consider, every one of us, we sit, uh, uh, you know, to give a very, very brief report what have we done. For instance, the people want to know how much is the debt of one MPD. The PAC has postponed its 1MDB proceedings after its chairman Datuk Nur Jazlan Mohammad and three other Barisan National members were appointed to ministerial posts in the recent cabinet reshuffle. Before last Tuesday's cabinet reshuffle, the PAC had 13 members, eight from the Barisan National and five from the opposition.